What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to your hometown angler. Today I want to review one of my favorite pieces of gear. Probably one of the most iconic pine boards that's ever came out of Wisconsin. We have the Beaver Dam tip up. That's right you guys, this does not need a lot of introduction. I know a lot of us remember catching our first fish on a Beaver Dam tip up um, out there ice fishing flag goes up, what is it going to be? Is it a mist flag? Is it a pike? Is it a walleye? Man, when you get up there and it's just a memory that you'll never forget. So let's go get started talking about some of the features on this. But before we do, I want you guys to make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss another gear review. And then make sure you leave a like because it really does help a lot. It helps more than you guys realize. And then of course a comment, let me know uh, what the first fish that you ever remember catching on a beaver dam. So let's get started talking about some of the features. Now, hey, I know that everybody is out there using these beaver dam tip-ups, but we gotta think about this, you guys. These things were first created 60 years ago. Back when our grandfathers and fathers first started using these, these are absolute state-of-the-art technology in ice fishing. To be able to have this much precision on the ice, to be able to have a flag indicator of when you actually get a bite, to be able to suspend your bait. So let's get into the construction and features of this thing right away. So of course you have your spring flag here. This is going to be kind of your uh, part of your trigger and indicator all in one. So of course um, when the fish bites, the flag goes up. Pretty simple there, it's on a spring. Here you have a stainless steel rod and this is a brass spool and line guide. Swivels in here and this is the other part of your trigger. So there's two settings, there's a heavy setting and then there's a lighter setting for panfish and stuff like that. So let's get right into the setup, you guys. We're gonna head out on the lake and we'll see you there. So here we go, guys, beaver dam. Tip up here. You know how we do it. We got the uh, plain old, I think it's like a three out hook on it. And we're just gonna go with a nice, big, fat, golden china. Look at the size of that thing. I think it's already been hooked once. No big deal. We'll hook him again. So that's how we hook him. He's a nice, lively little guy. And we're just gonna put him down in there with like no depth, because we're like, we're a foot off the bottom right here. And you're just gonna be amazed how well we're gonna be able to do all this little hole. So there we go. We're gonna bring him like right up to the top pretty much. We're gonna put that on the heavy setting. And there you go. It's all ready to go. All set up. We're in about a foot of that water. I'm sure you guys can't really see down there, but he's in there. So let's get another one set up and we'll get going. I'm gonna do a little bit of jigging too. So really uh, glad you guys are here and thanks for stopping and stay tuned. I spin on big ones and small ones. Set the hook. We got this one. It doesn't feel too bad, guys. What do we got? Pulling some weeds up with it, that's for sure. Big old pike, wow! Holy moly, you guys. Check it out. Woohoo! I told you guys. We'll just take it like this. Send you in. Thank you. Woohoo! He's off. Let's get this set back up, you guys. All right. Another flag, you guys. We got a spinner this time. I think you might be on there. Oh yeah, we're gonna spin. I thought we just had weeds coming up at the end there. I didn't really feel them on there. Now you guys, I am not going to try to pretend for the sake of the videos, this is anything less than flawless for pike and walleye. This application right here, to have a bait suspended and a flag indicator has caught more pike and walleye, more success, I would argue, than any other system on the planet, on the ice, as far as ice fishing goes. But, 
in certain applications, like in times we're going to target crappie or perch, for example, there might be something that's a little bit better, like this iFish Pro system, for example, right here that I've done another video on. This is going to give you the option to use your rod. What that's going to do is give you a lot more precision on the ice for a lot smaller bait, for a lot smaller profile, copy minnow, and things like that. And you're going to be able to use your rod for a lighter line. Tip up line, if you get pretty light, I think you can get it down to like maybe even like 15 pounds or something like that. But even then, it's just not quite there, not quite the precision that I'm looking for when I'm trying to suspend baits for copies. Also, another really great thing for copy and perch are tip downs, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And also a system I've gotten into recently called the Finicky Fooler, which I also did another video on. So, there we go. There's um, pros and cons of everything, you guys. And, you know, Beaver Dam is absolutely iconic in every single way. If you're going to catch a walleye, if you're going to catch a pike, don't reinvent the wheel. There's nothing better to use. Don't buy anything else. Just buy Beaver Dam Kipple. So it lasts a lifetime. And they're a great product. And they're a great Wisconsin product. And that's one of the coolest things. So thanks so much for tuning into the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. We went over the setup. We went over some uh, really cool features pros and cons, things like that. Um, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, it helps so much, and leave a comment letting me know about that first fish that you guys remember on the Beaver Dam tip up or your personal best fish or just whatever crazy memories you guys have. Thanks so much again for stopping in at Hometown Angler.